Good morning on what is a grey, cool and overcast day. It is Tuesday the 14th of June and I'm in the reading nook with a nice hot cup of tea. And a book to unbox. Uh, and this is um, the uh, a, a, a supplement for the Root RPG The Clearing Booklet. So, the clearings of the woodland uh, need vagabonds. As a rule, most denizens don't trust vagabonds, outlaws who wander the woodlands without a home. But there are times when the problems of clearing faces can't be addressed by anyone, except those vagabonds willing to take the job. So you've essentially got a classic kind of role-playing um, game setup where, you know, the outsiders aren't trusted, but it's the outsiders who are required to, um, or capable of undertaking um, the tasks which will overcome the problems that a community will face. So, this clearing booklet contains the following clearings. Uh, Hugfoot Bog has always been a swampy marsh of hard mice, one in which many denizens have lived their whole lives. How will they deal with the change that the conquering Marquisite uh, brings to the clearing? Uh, the folk of Sixto stand see themselves as inheritors of legend, but their recent battles mean they must throw themselves in with one of the factions at, at, at war in the woodland. But which faction will they turn to? Uh, Limery Post, uh, an outpost at the edge of the woodland, remains a well-fortified clearing, perfect for a new woodland alliance base. Can the alliance's leaders uh, convince the citizens of the post to join the cause? Cool Claw Mine is one of the woodland's most lucrative mines. The Marcuset himself sent the trusted Lord Scowl to secure the clearing right away, but now food has gone scarce. How will he address the brewing insurrection? Each clearing contains uh, interesting conflicts, important residents with stats, unique locations and special rules. You can use these clearings as a setting for a one-shot as part of a larger campaign in the broader woodland. The clearing booklet is officially licensed supplement for Root, the RPG fantasy adventure tabletop role-playing game for three to six players, based on the award-winning Root, a game of woodland might and right board game by Leader Games. There we go. Let's have a look inside. And of course, it's got the fantastic artwork on the front um, that uh, essentially the corporate artwork, which uh, we saw in the Coral Book, and of course, and of course, in uh, the board game it is based upon. So, opening this up, what we have got inside is it's just a, a slim book. Um, but, uh, what we have, uh, we have an interesting scene of. Uh, of the woodland can canopy, um, which, uh, whether that's um, potentially a scene um, of um, the canopy in autumn or on fire, well, I'm probably going to um, veering towards the latter. Um, but we've got simple introduction, um, discussion between characters, uh, the, uh, um, between travels. Um, at, uh, and um, essentially this introduction repeats much of what is on the, the back cover uh, before we get into um, the first thing so it's really quite a good book here's what's in the book let's go there's not a lot of time uh, time or space wasted uh, in, in before you get into um, the first of the clearings so we have description at first sight so um, really that's uh, more for the benefit of um, the game master initially but that's what the the, 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 um, uh, the, the heroes of your campaign will first see um, before we have discussion essentially um, up front of what the core conflicts are in the clearing um, so um, to um, so you've got a core conflict, the Prince of Peat, um, the Marcus that arrived in Hookfoot Bog, hoping to set up logging operations, unfortunately the trees are thin and worry, but nestled under the foot bridges and, and raised homes around the bogs are, are vast amounts of peat. So there's a conflict of whether or not the Marcus it should um, cut that peat out. Uh, and then at the bottom we've got a, a guide, of course, of how it develops. So every clearing and every problem essentially has these, these, these um, setups. And, um, and payoffs and the, the, the how it develops is really what happens um, if the vagabonds never come to the, the bog. The, the issue would likely devolve into an outright fighting sabotage and the hook foots. Embroiling all the clearing denizens in a needless conflict as supporters of each of the three family leaders uh, created division throughout the bog. Um, so 
if the if, if the player characters, i.e. the Vagabonds, don't um, intercede, um, all our war will ensue. Um, so we've got more of these uh, conflicts, so uh, collaboration and burning the bog, um, depending upon what each of the families concerned. Uh, so like last we've got Smugglers Run, um, so, uh, before we get into uh, the descriptions and stats for important residents. Um, and, uh, and there are several of these, so we've got a couple of pages at least, about six um, more actually, so that's ten so far. So there's a lot of NPCs for the player characters, the Vagabonds, to deal with. Um, and the last one is the Hookfoot Militia before we have a description of all the important locations um, such as the Hookfoot Burrow, Newtown, peat harvesting and storage, and the Marshall at the Swamplands. Um, and we have special uh, special rules for uh, dealing with the Swamplands which is um, at, uh, uh, which is dealing with the acrid smoke um, from the peat um, or escape into the swamplands um, and the harvest operations for, <coughs> for cutting, the, cutting, cutting the peat out. And then um, for the game master, you have introducing the clearing. Um, basically, here's, that's the advice on how to um, how to introduce the clearing. And so that basically, the, the game master has got a couple of pages of advice there as well. Um, basically, with some bullet. Uh, points at the end before we, we have six notes down to the next clearing and that's going to do the same so the description for site um, and then the conflict so the conflict conflict is a time to rebuild um, is uh, essentially uh, the, essentially the, 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 the basic six, the six note has been um, stand has been attacked by wolves but they've been driven off but the army has suffered and the wolves are about to attack again. Um, and then we have um, other conflicts of strange music. So these are multiple plot strands um, that the, um, the vagabonds can involve themselves in and uh, resolve um, or even exacerbate um, as necessary. Uh, to, to, to basically uh, to explore and role play uh, um, in in, in, this, in the clearing. So various NPCs again, lovely piece of artwork. But, uh, um, more NPCs. So again, a lot of NPCs um, followed by the important locations uh, and, and advice for the game master introducing the clearing. Um, so that's a, that feels like a smaller, shorter one um, than the uh, first one. Um, it's a hook, foot, bog, uh, limery post. But, um, uh, and um, limery post. Ever since the, the so the, the, ever since the alliance camp sprang up, sprang up at the edge of the clearing, limery post has been urged. The woodland alliance prefers to strike from the shadows, but the encampment in the meadow is different, and that makes everyone as nervous. Just as nerve-wracking as the standstill, the denizens know that they must make a difficult decision about their own fate. So essentially, which which faction will they side with? Um, so, uh, so, so that's the core set, core conflict, and then they've got additional conflicts as well, of course. Um, any fact, let's just see. So you've only got uh, just um, with the core conflict of Briar's Uprising. Uh, I'll get you, do have more, because you've got a um, bit of notes for the Game Master up there. Um, so you only got three conflicts there. Um, no, no, there is four. There is four. I'm, I'm, I'm a mistake. Um, again, import residence. Um, and a nice touch, essentially, a nice piece of artwork with sort of like you know, certain, um, a couple of um, uh, animals or a couple of rabbits and going um, about or, or other creatures going about their business surreptitiously, uh, complete with black masks. Um, at, uh, important locations. Um, advice for the game master. At, uh, then we have Cool Claw Mine. 
which is the fourth and final clearing book uh, clearing in in the booklet um, and uh, essentially in this conflict it's, it's the starvation is looming um, under the under the Marquisite rule um, so uh, we have other conflicts is that's increasing difficulty and tension in the town which might lead to kill a cat because you know they're the oppressors um, and they, they might be prisoners so there's gonna be a jailbreak but, uh, and then conflict the eerie among us so they might bring in another faction um, uh, um, the, bir the, the, the birds of the eerie um, and I've got a list of all the um, all the stats and so on for the NPCs Uh, and then important locations uh, guidance to introduce the clearing and uh, that's it so this is a really kind of straightforward overall quite straightforward um, uh, supplement um, of just four clearings four scenarios in effect um, and, and with multiple situations for uh, the vagabonds to clear up um, essentially it, it's a these are pure scenarios in the sense that they are all set up and they are waiting the involvement of the player characters um the vagabonds to come and resolve them one way or the another and uh, once the game master has these is really they're easy to kind of drop into the map of her woodland that she makes or indeed run them on their own so yeah useful supplement to have um because these are quite short um, setups. They're, they're, they're um, you know, at, uh, just looking at it. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So they're about fourteen, fifteen pages um, uh, long each. So not that much dip, that much preparation role. Just to have one of these ready to go, um, depending upon the, the actions of your player character vagabonds. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this unboxing in the Nook. If you have, uh, then please do click on the like button down below. If you've got any comments or feedback, I appreciate you taking the time to post those. And uh, lastly, if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxings in the Nook, where you will see me out here um, with a box or basically a package uh, from which I will unbox a book or game and chat about it to the best extent of my knowledge of roughly 10 minutes or so. All, of course, accompanied by a nice hot cup of tea. Then please do hit that subscribe button. In the meantime, thanks again for watching another unboxing of the Nook, and I'll be back again soon. Bye for now.